Welcome to Call Thors. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please like. And let's see how many, like, how many shares you can get on this one video. Let's go for a record. Let's try to hit 10 shares. Okay, so today's video is about 9 behavioral reasons why you can get a bass to strike your lure. The number one reason a bass is going to strike when it strikes is it's because it's feeding. This is when the bass are trying to eat and they're trying to get nourishment for their bodies to live. And this will account for a majority of your bites. But there are other reasons bass will bite. The second one is going to, it goes to 20 to 25 percent of all your bites. This is a reflex action. It's just the, the food's there and it's just going to grab it out instinct. It's not really thinking about feeding, it's just there and they, re they react instantly and bite. And this is just a natural habit and because bass want to live. <laughs> and they are programmed to bite as fast as they can, but they don't know when the next easy meal is coming. So they don't even think about it, and it's just a reflex. The third reason you can get a bass to bite, and, and it's a highly likely one to do, is out of anger. You do this by throwing the bait to the same spot, putting it in front of its nose, and, pee and pissing off the bass. Or when you're fishing on the bed, a lot of times those are anger bites. Those are explosive and they're hard. Hold on to your rod because that fish is going to yank on you. And the fourth one is that one bite that we all love to fish in the spring. It is when a bass is, is protecting its nest. It's called a protective bite. So it's almost the same as an anger bite, but. It's a little different. It's, they're just trying to kill the kill. So the fifth reason that you can get a bass to bite the lure, and this only accounts for about 2% of your bite, and so it's a real minor one, is out of curiosity. Every once in a while, you'll have a curious bass that is biting the lure just to see what it is. So you guys ever been fishing off, offshore and you're fishing deeper structures? And you find a school of fish and you get one of those bass to bite and all of a sudden it starts a feeding frenzy. This is the sixth type of behavioral reason that bass will bite and this is called competition. If you can get a school worked up, you can sit there and catch a fish for a while. So remember that if you can get one fish out of a school, out of a school of bass to bite, yeah, there's a good chance you're going to be able to catch multiple fish out of the same school just because you're trying to compete for, this, for the food. That brings us to reason number seven, and that is, this is going to be where you're going to catch most of your trophy bass, and that is a territorial bass. A territorial bass is large enough to hold its own area, and a lot of times those are your trophies, and they're going to, it's going to be a mixture of, it's going to chase it to a certain point and stop. A lot of times if you have one of these big bass chasing a bait, stop it and slow it down and piss it off, and you'll get that anger strike, and you'll catch that big bass. So the eighth reason and that you're going to catch bass is it's got to kill an instinct. It is a predator. It wants to kill. That is why you'll catch bass on a, a musky lure. And the bass a lot of times isn't much bigger than that musky lure you're throwing. And you're catching the bass. And that's because it's got to kill an instinct. And then the ninth reason. You guys ever been to a virgin waters? The fish are just ignorant. They don't know any better. And these are like some of the, the lakes that you'll fish that you have to walk into and no, you've never seen a fishing lure and you start catching bass there and that is why they're ignorant. Thank you for watching Cole Outdoors. Thanks for supporting me. Until next time, I am your host, Derek Cole. Later.